Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making these adorable little baby sandals. These are so cute. They remind me of like hiking sandals or like um, trekker type of sandals. They're so cute and perfect for the summertime coming up. And I just love it so much. I can't wait to make these with you today. So I'll get into the supplies and then we'll get into making them. So a uh, big, huge thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing today today's yarn for this project. I'm using baby hugs and soft. You can see soft yarn. So my main color is this bluey. This is called bluey. Let me get the color so you can see bluey. And this is just an acrylic yarn, um, very similar to like a Super Saver. It's a little softer actually than Super Saver. And then the second color I'm using is this dolphin color, still same baby hugs yarn. This is it's a it's a really soft, cuddly yarn. I really like it a lot. But it's the same medium size four yarn so you can see that we're not using a whole lot so i don't even have yardage because it's just scraps <laughs> really baby booties are so small and then the bottom here of this sole is using soft yarn um i wanted it to be green and i just found some soft yarn in green ignore my rips and tears on my label here but soft yarn this green color is called guacamole <laughs> so i just wanted a green color but you can probably find it in the baby hugs or in a different yarn i would also recommend using um a cotton yarn you can use cotton as well but i wouldn't really recommend wool just because um a these are sandals <laughs> and b uh, some kids are allergic to wool so you want to be careful so an acrylic yarn or a cotton yarn would be best and you can use either so uh, I would recommend if you were going to use cotton I'm going to grab some from my stash here I just have this skein here scrubby smoothie is a great yarn to use um, that you can get in a multitude of colors so you can use um, scrubby smoothie if you want to as, a, as an alternative but for these sandals you're also going to need a G sized crochet hook um, this hook I got from the Etsy shop would be fancy. I will link them in the description of this video because everybody's wondering what this hook is. Like, how awesome is this? It's ergonomic. It's hand carved. So they um, carved it to the uh, shape of your hand, your palm, so you can crochet for long periods of time and not have to hold on to just the crochet uh, hook handle like this one here. This is just a small crochet hook handle and it's kind of difficult if you're going to crochet for a long time. So these crochet hooks are great and they're more comfortable. I'm using a G hook today which is four or yeah 4.25 millimeters <laughs> so you can use the G hook. If you want to make these a little bit smaller you can go to an F hook as well that's 3.75 millimeters. You're going to need two buttons here. I'm using this Lamode buttons uh, just two of them you need. These are a half inch uh, but you can use um, you know, same size or bigger if you want to, but they're just for the strap here. And you can also, instead of using buttons, you can use Velcro. So either or, doesn't matter, creator's choice. <laughs> you're going to need a yarn needle. We're going to do a lot of sewing. So you're going to need a yarn needle. I have this extra piece of um, yarn here. This is my stitch marker <laughs> because for the sole of this booty, we're working in continuous rounds. So I like to mark the beginning of my round with a stitch marker. So if you have a legit stitch marker, you can use that or just an extra piece of yarn to mark your rounds. And then uh, scissors, obviously, for cutting your yarn. So those are all the supplies you're going to need. Now, I will link all these in the description of this video if you want to get them online through redheartyarns.com or through Etsy for this hook or for, uh, I got Amazon links for these here so you can get these all over the internet um or online or whatever so that is all the information oh and then one last thing i do want to show is sizing so these will fit up to a six month old size and a six month baby's sole is about four inches and you can see here the sole is about four inches but it's also stretchy so it could be four and a half inches so about six to eight months 
you could probably get these n enough use out of these till then. So these are not a newborn size. They are going to need to grow into these a little bit for a few months. So it's great for, you know, summer babies or um, even winter babies who are going to be uh, six months by summer. So it's totally up to you. These are great for making different colors also and girls or boys does not matter. So I'm making obviously boys because I'm having a baby boy <laughs> in the summertime. <laughs> so I just want to show you how to make these today. So I have to say a huge thank you to Red Heart Yarns for this yarn today. Big thank you to my dad who's filming this tutorial and he's going to get real tight into a lot of the stitches because I'm going to have to show you some uh, really tight spots here. And a huge thank you to you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and please add me on the like me on Facebook, follow my Instagram, follow me on Snapchat also so you can see behind the scenes clips of what we do here at Yarn Utopia headquarters. All right, let's get started and make these cute sandals. All right, I'm going to start with um, the baby hugs in blue, and if you look at this sandal that I have done already, I'm going to start off by making this inner sole first, and then we'll go on to the um, bottom sole. So we're going to start with the inner sole first, or the upper sole, I guess. Let's start off with a slip knot. Put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and pull your long end through pull tight, insert your hook, and we can begin. So let's start off by chaining 10. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put two single crochets. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain, so we're going to count one and two, this second chain right here. And what I like to do is work on the back ridge of the chain right here. You can work in any loop of your chain, but I prefer this uh, back ridge here. So let's go in with our hook in that second chain from the hook there, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. So we're going to go back into that same chain and make another single crochet. Now we are going to single crochet into the next five chains. So go into this next one, just put one single crochet in there. So there's one, next is two, the next chain is three, here's four, and five, okay? Now we are going to half double crochet into each of these next two chains here. So yarn over, go into this next chain, yarn over and pull through. And now we have three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And there is a half double crochet. Okay, so do that same thing in the next chain here. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops, okay? Now we have one chain left here. We're gonna put a series of double crochets in there. We're gonna put eight double crochets in the last chain here. So a double crochet is yarning over, going into the last chain. Whoops, back ridge there. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. That's a double crochet. So you have to make eight of those total in that last chain. So that was one. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's two, here's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I don't know if you observed that, but I was turning this around to work on, now we're gonna work on this opposite side of our foundation chain. So if you want to flip this over just like this, okay? And we're gonna work in these stitches now across the uh, foundation chain here. So in our next stitch, which if you kind of separate these, you can see our next stitch is right here. We are going to put a half double crochet in there. So yarn over, 
go into this stitch right here okay you can work over the top of your straggler if you want unless um otherwise you can sew that in later that's no big deal so yarn over pull it through the stitch and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops okay so I'll work over the top of this straggler so it sews it in for me. So we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch as well. Basically doing opposite of what is on this side. Okay, so we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch right here. Okay, put the yarn over the top there so you can sew that in. Yarn over and pull it through. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And now we're going to single crochet into each of the next five stitches. So no yarning over, just go in, then yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so there's one, next stitch, two, here's three, four, and five and there should be one stitch left in the very last stitch or our very first chain that we worked in there we're going to put two single crochets in there one and two all right now we're not going to slip stitch or anything to this beginning we're going to work in continuous rounds so this is what your work should look like right now so you can see this is the heel this is the toe we are going to grab a stitch marker and we're going to place that into this spot right here to mark our rounds now if you have a legit stitch marker one with like a clip on it you can put that right here to mark your rounds but i'm just going to put an extra piece of yarn and we're going to go into this first stitch right here Okay, for round two, we are going to put two single crochets in this first stitch right here. So put two single crochets in the very first stitch, one and two, oopsie, two, there we go, two single crochets in the first stitch, and then we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch as well. So put two in this next one, one and two. And now we're just going to put one single crochet into the next seven stitches. So next one is here. One, two, three. These are just single crochets here. Four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Next step is to half double crochet into the next stitch, but I'm going to grab my yarn here. I got a little tangle. There we go. Okay, so half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so half double crochet in there. Now it says to put two half double crochets in each of the next six stitches. Okay, so two in each of those, which would be a total of 12 stitches at the end of that little section. So yarn over, go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops, go uh, yarn over again and go back in to the same stitch and make another half double crochet. So we're putting two in this next stitch in each of these here. So that was one. Okay, so then this next one is our second stitch, putting two half double crochets in there. Next is the third stitch, putting two half double crochets in there. Next fourth stitch here, putting two half double crochets in there. Okay, the fifth stitch, two half double crochets in there, and the sixth one here so two half double crochets in the next six stitches and that was that step right there okay so this is what it gets bigger around the toe and now we're just going to put one half double crochet in the very next stitch right here so one half double crochet there and now we are going to single crochet into the next seven stitches. So no yarning over, just go into this next stitch right here and put a single crochet. So there's one, next stitch is two, 
next is three, here's four, five, six, and seven. Okay, looks like I have two stitches left, and it says to put two single crochets in each of these last two stitches. So put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two, and then one single, or I'm sorry, two single crochets in the last stitch here, one and two. And then move your stitch marker up and go on to round three. So for round three, here's what your work should look like so far, by the way. Okay, so for round three, it says to single crochet into the first two stitches here. So go into this first stitch, one, and the next stitch, one. Okay, then put two single crochets into the next stitch, one and two. Okay, then put one single crochet into the next ten stitches. One, next stitch, two, here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Next, it says to put two single crochets in each of these next two stitches. So go into this next stitch and put two single crochets, one and two. Okay, hop to the next stitch right here, put two single crochets in there as well, one and two. And now we're just going to put one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. So let me see here, this is my next stitch right here, so there's one, next stitch, two, next is three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're going to kind of do opposite on what we did on this side to this side. So put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two, and then two single crochets as well in this next stitch, one and two. And then one single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we have to put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two and then one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. So one and one, okay? And that was round three. Now my sole is as big as I want it to be, so now what we're going to do is fasten this one off for the inside sole, oopsie, <laughs> and the inside sole here, this right here, this you can fasten this off so um, that's what I'm making now so we're gonna go into this next stitch with our hook right here yarn over and pull it through and pull it through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch okay to fasten off I like to just chain one and then cut my yarn and then pull it through and pull tight okay you can remove your stitch marker if you used one and this is what it should look like okay so now, excuse me, <clears throat> what I need you to do is rewind this and make rounds one through three exactly like this, but do not fasten off on your second one and make it in a different color if you want to. That is the bottom one of this. So make the exact same thing, but do not fasten this one off. You can see here we are going to attach it to our uh, blue one here. So I, I actually have one done already, okay? It's attached to my ball of yarn. I did exactly what I was supposed to, ex uh, rounds one through three, exactly like this first one, okay? So we're gonna take the back sides of both of these and sandwich them together, okay? They should match up on the stitches, okay? And what we're going to do, once you have both of these done, okay, we are going to attach these. 
So what I'm going to actually do is remove my stitch marker on this one. Okay, so it would be like you're going to fasten off, but you're not going to because we're going to attach them. So what we're going to do is line these up exactly the same. Okay, and then we're going to go into this very next stitch here and into the next layer right there. Okay, and then we're going to yard over with our working yarn because we did not fasten off on our second one. So we're going to pull that around and through, okay, and we're going to pull it through the loop on our hook. Now do not pull tight, okay, actually don't pull really at all. <laughs> Just be really loose on these. These are slip stitches. So we're going to go into this next stitch right here and into the next stitch on our other piece which is the one I slip stitched into right there. Okay, you can shove this inside the, between the two layers. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, go into the next stitch. And we're just doing this all the way around, just matching up the stitches Again, do not pull tight when you do your slip stitches, but we're just attaching these two layers, just like that, okay? So, and then you can see on one side that these, you can see these stitches show up. We are going to be working into these loops later, so make sure to he have them loose enough where you will be able to insert your hook into them because we will be using them later for the straps and everything. So I'm going to do this all the way around, just slip stitching in each stitch at both layers, okay, just like that, and then yarn over and pull through and through, very similar to surface crochet. So go into this next stitch, both layers, yarn over, pull through and through. Okay, I'll do that all the way around when I come back to the beginning. I will come back on screen and we will go on to the next step together. All right, just finishing up here. So on your last stitch, the very last stitch, you do your slip stitch right here. And then we're just going to fasten that off. So I'm just going to cut this yarn and pull it all the way through that last one. Okay, just like that and it's secure, and this is what it should look like. So this is the inside, this is the outside, and I'm going to grab my yarn needle and sew in this end real quick. So just yarn your needle with that little strand, and you can just go in between the two layers because nobody will see that. Okay, and then cut any extra. Okay, and stretch it out. So there is the sole. So you, again, I'm just showing you one, but you'll have to make two exactly like this, okay? So now we'll go on to making the front toe part um, to cover the front of the toes, and then we'll make the straps after. So the front toe is back to the blue color, so this color that's on the inside of your sole here is the same color we're gonna use. And to find the exact spot, it says the 18th stitch in, um, in the front here. So if you want it, if you can see your, your, um, slip knot at the end when you fastened this piece off, you can see my little knot right here. So count that, I can't really even see it. That's right here. Sorry. So this is my slip <laughs> knot. I know you can't really see it very well, but count that stitch. So that's one. Then we're going this way, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we're going to go to the 18th stitch in. And if you also look at the front toe part here, if you don't want to count 18 stitches in, that's fine. What we're going to do is you can see here, if you stretch this out, you can see, let me get my needle so you can see better. 
there's two single crochets in this stitch here this single crochet and this single crochet and then there's this single crochet and this single crochet in this stitch we are going to go into the second grouping so this is the first grouping here and this is the second grouping and we're going to go into this first one okay and we're actually going to work in these green little things and this back loop here because we're going to be working in the front so you can see here this is the stitch we're going to be working in so if you look at it this way so this is the where the front of your toe is where looking okay this is the front of your toe okay and if you go to this side here you can see where your two single crochets are in this stitch and two single crochets are in this stitch we are going to go into this um, second grouping so this is our first grouping this is our second grouping and we're gonna go into this first one of the second grouping okay I know that it can be confusing so if it doesn't make sense to you just count 10 stitches in the front and make them even <laughs> in the front we're gonna work across 10 stitches so here's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and that should also get you to the second grouping on this side you can see there's two single crochets and two single crochets it should get you to these two single oh, let me see if I can see them there's two in here and two in here okay so it should get you to this second one over here there's one right here and one right here I know it's hard to see if I spread this out you can maybe see there's one and there's one it'll get you to this one and this very next stitch has the two in there but we are not using those so there's two here and we'll get to this one okay so we're gonna start and <laughs> I know I keep flipping this around I hope you can see that um, but that's where we're gonna start okay so I'm just gonna go into the second grouping here's my first grouping here's my second grouping and we're gonna go into this back loop of the work and into the green slip stitch backing here and that's where we're gonna enter our hook and we're gonna pick up our blue yarn hook it through and then chain up one and in this stitch we are going to it says let's see here 10 half double crochets evenly across okay so half double crochet in the stitch that you attach to so yarn over go into the same spot okay yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops okay there's our first half double crochet and we're attached next stitch right here we're gonna yarn over and go in to the back loop and into that green part right there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops so there's two here's three okay four five six seven eight oops take your time <laughs> we're not in a rush here nine and 10 okay so if what I said earlier was too confusing just count oops, 10 stitches in the front here from this side to this side just count 10 stitches evenly and uh, just make 10 half double crochets across the front okay so if it didn't work out for you to find those stitches where I said to put your stitches no big deal
We'll go on to row two of the front of the toe next. We're going to chain up one, and we're actually going to turn our work around to look at the inside here. And we are going to half double crochet these first two stitches together. So yarn over, go into this very first stitch, yarn over, pull through, go directly into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. And that's a half double crochet two together stitch because we made those two into one stitch. And now we're going to half double crochet into the next six stitches. So yarn over, just put a regular half double crochet in the next. So there's one. Next stitch is two. Here's three, four, five, and six. And you should have two stitches left. We're going to half double crochet those last two stitches together. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the very last stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops. So now you should have eight stitches across row two. So chain one and turn your work around. Going on to row three, we're going to repeat the same concept as we did for row two. So yarn over, go into this first stitch. We're gonna half double crochet these first two stitches together. So yarn over, pull through, go into the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And now we're just gonna half double crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three and four and then we're going to half double crochet those last two stitches together all right going on to the next row row four chain up one turn your work around and row four we're going to again repeat what we did for the last row so half double crochet two together and then half double crochet in each of these next two stitches so one and one, and then half double crochet those last two stitches together. So on row four, you should have four stitches. That's pretty simple to remember. Okay, so you can see it's starting to kind of curve up and close in on our toe here. So now rows five through 10, okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six rows total. We're gonna chain one, turn our work and half double crochet across. No decreasing anymore. So there should be four stitches on each of those rows and look at how quick it is. I already just finished row five. Chain up one, turn your work around and half double crochet in each of the four stitches. And we're doing that for rows five through 10. Once I finish row 10, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. All right, I just finished row 10, so this is what your piece should look like right now. I ended um, looking at the inside of the, the shoe here. What we're gonna do now is chain one, and we're gonna fasten this off with a long tail because we will use that for sewing, and then we'll pull that through that chain one. Okay, so we're gonna use that for sewing later. Right now, what I actually want to do um, is work on the side straps that are on this side and this side and leave this for assembly later. So what we're going to do now is look at the back of our little foot here, okay? And you can see, you mm, can't really see, I was trying to show you earlier, but there's two single crochets in this stitch right here from this row okay there's two here and if you go on this side too you can see the two right here these two and these two so these will kind of be your guides of where you're going to put your stitches on each side of this piece and you can see on this sandal that I have already made we're going to make this strap here and this strap here okay very similarly to this strap here. So we are going to attach our yarn on this piece and then make just straps like this and a strap like this. Okay. So where you see your um, two stitches to, uh, in the same stitch right here, if you're looking at your shoe like this where your toe is in the front and you're looking at this side, we're going to start in the stitch 
closest to you. So if you're looking at it like this, this is further away, this is closer. So there's the two stitches. So we're gonna start in this stitch right here. So here's one, two, we're gonna start in this stitch right here then. And on this opposite side, if you're looking at the opposite side here, you can see your two stitches here. So we are going to start, there's one, two, we're gonna start in the stitch then right here. Okay, so I'm going to start on this side first and then I'll show you that side. So we're going to go into the stitch. So you're looking at your piece like this. Okay, here's your two stitches. Let me see where my two stitches are. One, two. So we're going to go in this, this stitch right here. Okay. I know it is difficult to see, but I'm trying to show you the best we can, and with my dad's camera skills, hopefully you saw that. <laughs> so now we're just going to hook on the same color as the front toe and the inner sole, so blue here, for me. We're going to chain up one, and we're going to half double crochet into the same stitch. Just like how we worked in the front, too, um, you can see I'm working in that back loop and that green loop as well. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, just like that, and we're attached. Going into the next stitch, we're going to do four in total. So there was one, go into the next stitch. Okay, so this back loop and this stitch there. And you can work over your straggler if you want. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, there's two. Here's three. And four. Okay. Oops. There we go. Awesome. So there should be four stitches total. So now we're going to do rows two through six. We're gonna chain up one, turn the work around, and work across these four stitches, and just put a half double crochet in each one of them. And then chain one, turn your work, and then half double crochet across. And we're gonna do that for rows, here's row two, I just finished, super simple, you guys. Chain up one, turn your work around, and then half double crochet across. So two through six, okay? Once I finish row six on this side, I'll show you where to go on the opposite side again here, and then we'll make the other strap. All right, so I'm just gonna chain one after row six here, and we're gonna cut our yarn long again, because we're gonna use that for sewing. So pull that through that chain one and pull tight, and there's the first strap. So now we're gonna go to the opposite side. Now if you want to, just line your stitches up and go straight across here, and we're gonna work in those four. Otherwise, like I said earlier, you can look for the two single crochet stitches. So mine are right here and we're gonna go into this next. So there's one and two in that same stitch there, so we're gonna go into this next one here. However, working on the opposite side, if you're looking at your piece like this, we, I am right-handed, so I don't crochet this way. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is count four stitches. So that would be our first stitch, two, three, and four. So we're gonna go into this stitch right here. And that's where we're actually going to start, okay? And you can see that straight across the way is where your other one started as well, okay? So it should be right in the same stitch hole there. So we're gonna grab the same color yarn, hook it on, and do the same exact thing. So chain up one, half double crochet into that same stitch and in the next three stitches, so there's a total of four stitches. And then just turn your work, chain one, half double crochet across, and we're gonna do that for six rows, just exactly like the opposite side. And then once we have our six rows finished on this strap, we'll be able to make 
the gray straps that are on there and then assemble all of this and sew everything together because there's a lot of pieces um just kind of undone right now and it looks kind of it looks kind of weird right now so we will get this strap done and then i'll make i'll show you how to make the gray straps and we'll be able to fold everything down and get everything sewn together all right just finished row six on this side so chain one cut the yarn long for sewing and pull it through and pull tight so this is what it should look like right now it doesn't look like a sandal yet but it will um, so what we're gonna do is make the gray straps that will attach everything all together so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab here i'll show you my other sandal here is what we're going to do so you can kind of see how the shape is going to go so we have this front piece this side piece and this side piece so we're going to make this strap this strap and this strap i'm just going to show you one strap and then you can make the other two because this is exactly the same just making more on the other one so i'll just show you how to make the small one here so let's grab our third color here i'm using dolphin in this baby hugs and we are going to make a foundation single crochet now if you don't want to do that you can just chain an amount and then single crochet across your chain but to eliminate that we are going to do it this way so for your first two straps on the sandal here this front strap and this strap here we're going to start with a long strand for sewing so i'd say about five six inches and then put that over your long end and make your slip knot just like that so we're going to use this strand for sewing later and that's for the first two str front straps okay now we're going to make a foundation single crochet in this tutorial but like i said you can chain and um single crochet across your chain if you'd like excuse me so <clears throat> we are going to foundation single crochet and we're our first strap let me get my sandal here to show you the first strap is going to be a foundation single crochet of 11 stitches the second strap is going to be a foundation single crochet of 15 stitches and then this strap around the ankle is going to be 22 foundation single crochet stitches okay so 11 15 and 22 now if you crochet tighter or looser it might be more or less just make sure that these two straps are you know pretty even okay this one's a little smaller than this one and then this strap is the most important this one has to fit around your baby's ankle now baby's ankles range from four inches to five inches and sometimes up to six inches if you're going to go bigger but for a newborn or like a, even up to a six month old it's 4.25 inches around so I ended up making a five inch um, strap because we add the button and we want it to overlap okay so that's what I am going to do on my big strap but I'm going to show you the first strap it's super simple it's just foundation single crochet so we're going to start off by chaining two so we aren't over pull through one and two now we're going to go in this first chain right here so go way over to the first chain and I'm going to go under this loop and the back loop there okay you can go under one loop or two loops we're going to yarn over and pull it through that chain Okay, so we have two loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and just pull through one of the loops okay just like that and again we have two loops on our hook yarn over and pull through both loops and that's our very first foundation single crochet so if you turn your work like this you can see the stitch right at the top there there's our foundation single crochet so cute and little <laughs> now for working on the next one and each one after we're going to actually work in this bottom loop right here and right here so this across the bottom of the stitch that is considered our foundation chain so we're gonna go into there next so let's take our hook go into this loop here and this loop here okay 
yarn over and pull through okay and you kind of want to pull up just a little bit that's going to be your foundation chain that we're skipping that step of chaining okay and then yarn over and pull through one loop that creates the bottom chain and then yarn over and pull through two loops that creates the single crochet and there's your second one awesome so again, like I said, our first strap is 11 of these. So go down in the bottom of that stitch, that previous stitch right there, both of those loops, then yarn over and pull through it. Then pull kind of up a little bit. There we go. Yarn over, pull through one of those loops, and then pull through, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And there's our third one. So you can see that that is what that looks like. Cool. Okay, so just keep doing that until you have the amount that you need. So on my first one is 11, my second one is 15, and my third one is 22 of these. Okay, so I'll do that. And then when I'm finished with that, I'll show you how to fasten this off and we can add these to our sandal. Alright, so I made my first strap. Here is 11 foundation single crochets, so this is what your work should look like. To fasten this off, for our first and second strap, our one that has 11 stitches, the one that has 15 stitches also, we're going to chain one and cut our yarn long for sewing. Now on the third strap, for your 22 stitches across, you don't need to do the long strand. Just You can cut it short and sew it in. So this is what our first one looks like. Then we have our second one that has 15. And then our third one has 22. Now I cut these short, but um, I'm gonna sew them in on this 20, 22 stitch one here. So now we're done with the straps. What we have to do is grab our yarn needle. I set it somewhere and now I lost it, there it is. <laughs> so we're gonna grab our sandal. And what we're going to do first is uh, sew on the this strap first, okay? So to do that, let me, this uh, first strap is the one with the 11 stitches, okay? So what we're going to do is take our yarn needle and yarn it with one of the strands. Okay, we have to weave this through, oopsie. My yarn needle is a little small. There we go. Okay, so we got to weave this through this row. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, row five. Row five and row seven will have our um, stitches. We'll have our straps, sorry. So we're going to take this stitch and we're going to go in between the first and second stitch here to the back and then skip those two stitches and come out this side where there's one stitch left. Okay, and pull. Okay, make sure it's even all the way across. Okay, now where we wanna sew them, we are going to skip, here, I'll show you my other sandal. So you can zoom in right here where these stitches are. So you can see we skip two stitches after where this stitch is into this stitch. So we skipped these two stitches and we sewed it into this one stitch. Then we skipped one stitch and sewed our next strap into this next stitch here. Okay, and then there should be two stitches to your blue strap. Okay, so that is where we're lining up. On the other side it's the same exact way where you have two stitches here, then we sewed this one into this stitch, then there's one in between, sewed the second strap down into the next stitch, and then there should be two or three, looks like three on this side, one, two, three, before this stitch. Okay, so now I'm going to sew this side down. So we're going to skip two, one, two. So we're going to go in this one right here, and we're just going to go around between the two layers, okay? So just around the blue layer here. And we're just going to go around and just sew it in. Okay. 
And then to fasten that off, we're going to tie it in a knot. So we're going to go in the back here, around the stitch, Okay, keep my finger in the loop of that, oops, there we go, and then come back through, oh, my yarn's stuck, come on, there we go, come back through that loop, and then pull tight, and that should create a knot, and then you can just sew in your end. And take your time. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going a little quick for the tutorial, um, but I also see some mistakes that I've made. So just uh, <laughs> take your time and sew these in carefully so that you don't have your yarn falling apart like I am. And cut any extra that you have. Stretch it out, make sure everything's all hidden and good. Okay, then do the same thing to the other side here. Grab the strand, yarn your needle, skip two stitches, one, two, go around this one right here, just between the two layers. Okay, come back through. Go down again. I would sew it twice um, if you want to secure it fully, three times is a charm. And then just go from the inside through a couple of the stitches. Okay, come back through the loop and pull tight. And then sew in this end. And hide it. Okay, and then cut any extra, stretch it out, and there's your first strap. Fabulous! Now grab your second strap with the 15 stitches. Okay, we're going to skip one row here, and we're going to go across this row here. Okay, and we're going to, again, do the same thing we did for the first strap. So skip this row right here, go to this next one, go in between the first and second stitch, skip these two stitches, come out this one right here in between the posts, and pull. Okay, and just like I showed you earlier, you just have to skip one stitch on the sole. So skip this stitch right here, go around to this one right here, and sew it in. And then do the same thing on this side, skip one stitch, sew it to the stitch here. And then you'll have your second strap down. Once you have your second strap down, I'll show you how to do the ankle strap. Alright, so I have these two straps on here. And you know what? This is bothering me, so I'm going to cut it before we go on to the next step. <laughs> and there we go. Looks better now. So now we want to um, sew all these things and our last strap. So make sure you sew in the ends of your last strap, okay? And we're just going to start in the front here. We want the clip, let's see here, we want the button to be opposite on the feet. So if I'm looking at both of the feet like this, this would, the button should be on the outside, okay? So then this one, the button would be on this side, okay? So I'm going to put this strap like this underneath this front piece and just have it close to this end here okay and then what we're going to do is grab our yarn needle and those long strands that we cut on the blue here we're going to sew these down okay so what we're going to do is we're not sewing to the strap we're sewing to itself and we're actually going to fold this last row and this row down here there we go right into this next row at the bottom. Okay, so we're just folding this in half these two rows. So I'm gonna put this in here. We're gonna go to this first stitch right here and go in 
to there. Whoops. So wrapping around the strap. Okay, just like that. Then go across to this next um, stitch right here, back in to the inside. Do not get the strap involved or the, the little strand. There we go. Okay, so we're just going over. Then going up to the next stitch up here. Okay, then go over to this next stitch here. Okay. Then down to this stitch here and over to this stitch right here. And then up this stitch at the top. Okay, now we're going to pull tight. And that secures this folding over like this. And this strap is easily movable. It slides freely. And that's what we want. Okay, so we want to now fasten this part off. So we're going to go down to this stitch here, come back through this loop, and then pull tight. Okay, and you can do it once or twice. Probably twice is best. Okay, just tie a knot and then just sew this end in underneath the stitches so that it's completely hidden. Okay, and then cut any extra. You can stretch it out and the strap moves freely. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on this part here now. I'm going to bring this over to this next strap. Okay, I'm going to yarn my needle with the next strap. Okay, we're working around this strap and we're going to come down through to this stitch down here. Okay, just so just the top two rows. Come through here, come up and over. Do not sew the strap. <laughs> Go down and over and up. Okay, the strap should move freely. I'm going to pull this like this. Pull everything tight. Okay. You can maneuver it how you need to. Stretch it out. Okay, and then cut or and then put this around and tie this off. Okay, and then we're almost done. We just have one more to go. So let me sew this end in. Okay, cut this. Okay, then bring this around. Make sure your strap is not twisted at all. Okay, come back. Oops, my <laughs> it's twisted. I was like, make sure it's not twisted and mine ended up being twisted. Okay, so then come back around to this one here. Okay, and we're going to yarn our needle with this one. And sew this one. Okay, so I'm just going to sew this one and then I will come back and we'll attach the button. Alright, I just sewed in this end here. Just going to trim that, stretch it out. So this is what you your piece should look like now. So now we have this open here. Um, what I wanted to tell you, if you want to add 
some velcro you can add some velcro i would cut this uh, piece into like a strip and then put it on one side and then this side and then you can just velcro this and that would work perfectly fine as well but i grabbed some buttons and they fit through my stitches so i'm just going to use these buttons are let me see if i have the packaging here this is the La Mode buttons, and I'm using a half inch little ones, okay, so you can use these. I got these at Joann Fabrics, so um, very, yeah, that's, does that say 12 millimeter? <laughs> it's behind my staple, so I can't really uh, see it, but... I think that says 12 millimeter. Four pieces, and these buttons are so cute, and they have them in all different colors. So I just chose this gray because my straps are gray, and we want to button it on the strap that's going to be behind the piece. So if you want to button it, this, whoopsie, oh my goodness, <laughs> losing my buttons. We want to button, uh, sew it onto this one, and then this one will be over it, and it will fit around the button like that. So that's how we want it to be. So we want it to be on this back one. And I already yarned my needle with some gray yarn, and we're just gonna go from the. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I see my buttons. Okay, so we're gonna go from the back, and then go <laughs> go in to one of the holes, and that will secure it down so it doesn't fly away from you. <laughs> and just sew it on, just like that. And sew it on. And then for these types of things, I just sew the two strands in the back. Okay, and just tie tie a knot in the back of your work. Okay, and cut these equal length. And then sew in this end. And like I said, my st my stitches will stretch around um, this. But if they don't, what you can do when you make your strap, I should have probably said that earlier, is make your um, last few stitches a little looser so that they can fit around. But also, like I said too, you can use a... Actually, I'm going to sew this in all the way. You can use Velcro as well and kids shoes with velcro is great so that they're easy to slip on and slip off on the go so i'm just going to sew this all the way through there we go and cut it shorter and i have this extra here cut this shorter just make sure to sew in all of your ends and get all of your um, stitches all figured out and then I'm going to stretch one of these loops with my needle and then stretch it around my button in hopes that it fits but these buttons are so difficult. What I'll probably end up doing is just slipping these on my kid's foot. <laughs> like, not unbuttoning them. And if that's what you also want to do, you can. Uh, because the strap will fit around their ankle. And secure so that these don't fall off and you're, you know, pushing your kid in the stroller or something. You don't want the shoe to fall off and you lose it. There we go. But there it is. Awesome. That fits. Okay, so I have some fixing up to do, but that was a quick tutorial on how to um, how to make this cute little hiking sandal. There we go. Just hiding everything. Yeah, just sew in your ends and they're good to go. And then all you have to do is just rewind this and make another one exactly the same way. This one goes on this side, so the buttons are on the outside. And there it is! Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make these 
cute little sandals. Obviously, I just showed you one. You can make two or make them in all different colors and make a whole set. How fabulous for every single outfit. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. Thank you to my dad for filming this tutorial with us and getting in those like little spots where I was trying to show you where the stitches were. <laughs> I hope you were able to see those. And big thank you to you for watching. Until next time, happy hooking!